Greetings everybody, this is Skybase Talking, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at a reaction diffusion pattern right inside of Photoshop. Uh, reaction diffusion is seen throughout nature as a way of organizing things, so you kind of see this on Brain Coral, but like, in, in a broader application, if you set the rules right, you could get zebra patterns, you could get cat patterns, you could get like, pretty much anything that's natural. And this is because, well, it's just the way things work. Um, and so, if you think about it, the term reaction diffusion is not very hard to understand. It's a reaction, a chemical reaction that occurs and then once it loses its energy, it starts to dissipate, in other words, the diffusion. And this oscillates in the, or goes through a cycle over and over, creating a pattern over time. Alright, so let's just get started because I think it's much easier to understand when you see it. So initially we have a white image, or you could have it black, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to fill it in with black, and then what we do is we just add in some initial points. These are going to be our parts, this is going to be a pattern. Now I recommend using a black and white image, although the process involves pretty much black and white only, um, it's preferred anyway. So you could feed in pretty much anything you want, you could have lines if you want, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, you could have image and you could get pretty experimental with your patterns so feel free to experiment with this okay so once you have your patterns down here's the cool part we're gonna create an action and we're gonna call it reaction diffusion and then it's gonna start recording so we grab the very first thing is our high pass now our initial high pass setup is gonna affect a lot of how it's gonna look in the end so I would recommend sticking to it and just figuring out a nice Thing. So I'm just going to set it up at 6 pixels radius. You can change this any way you want. Okay, our next step is to go into our image menu, adjustments, and threshold. This will make it black and white. Again, this step will alter the way things look. So if you have it all completely black, this isn't going to work. Um, you want to have a nice ring thing going on. And this is going to start up our reaction. So what we just did was we created our reaction pattern. Um, we have a high pass that you know puts it all together in a threshold that yeah makes it solid and then we're gonna have our diffusion and the only diffusion that we have is a uh, Gaussian blur or you could have any other blur this really affects the way things look so I would be careful with these values um, if they're a little too large like this it's not gonna work like you just get gray uh, you wanna have a nice small radius that's not too small that's gonna take you forever Okay, so we're done with our reaction diffusion, and now here's the cool part, or more like the boring part. Um, we just play it over and over and over. So you can see how like it's starting to grow. I'm just going to keep hitting the buttons. Look at that. You can see how like this pattern... Actually, this one looks like... Um... Huh. <laughs> well, you can see how like it creates all sorts of stuff. Um, I wasn't even expecting to create a giraffe pattern. I'm just going to keep clicking on it. Now it gets a little bit blurry, but uh, we'll be fixing that in a bit. And once you feel like it's almost like filling up the entire canvas here, I think that's pretty much all there is going to go to. Uh, the very last step is either you use Sharpen or Threshold to bring all the details out again. So let's just uh, set it up, you know, just the way that we want. You know, you don't want to have it too hard, you know, crazy on you. And yeah, there we go. Um, so we got this pattern instead of something that was different. So that's kind of interesting. And you could always colorize it, use this as a mask to uh, paint over and you could do all sorts of crazy things with it. So I would recommend just experimenting a lot with it, have fun, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to it and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, so that's it. Bye.